This is the bonus bit for the DVD, and it's a history of Trigger Happy. It's basically what Sam and I got up to before we came to Channel 4. We both used to work for a satellite comedy channel, and they let us muck about for a couple of years, and these are some of our favourite bits. This first bit is from 1997. We stood in the general election as the Teddy Bear Alliance, and uh, we stood against Alan Clark in Kensington and Chelsea. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, Edward Bear announces his manifesto to the cheers of his ferry supporters. There's no mention of pensions and education, but plenty of policies favourable to bears. They want Big Ben renamed Big Ted, the royal family to be replaced by Danny Bear, and of course a single European honey. Mr Bear! Mr Bear! Mr. Bear Teddy Bear's right! How long must we wait? Prime Minister, where do you stand on fleas? And you know we're anti-fleas. <laughs> That's absolutely oh, is... disgraceful, isn't yeah. it? It's outrageous. With the slogan, there are no fleas on us, Edward Teddy Bear is hoping to at least embarrass Alan Clark. Allow me to support you. <laughs> totally. Yes, completely. Yes. Bear set off on a tour of party headquarters. The Lib Dems offered a jar of honey. In the woods. It's a bloody circus, all this bloody circus! As a party, we feel that we've really shoved Teddy Bear's issues onto the political agenda. And uh, I think very much now all three parties will be looking to include a lot of Teddy Bear issues in their next manifesto. And if they don't, I think the country should prepare for a bear landslide in 2002. The tenuous excuse for the next thing is that Michael Portillo wasn't standing for the Tory leadership election in 97 because he'd lost his seat. So we thought, what would happen if some of his distant Mexican cousins turned up? I want to talk to Big Ken Clark. Sorry, Hello. sorry, it's a private reception. Oh, yeah. we are his cousins of Miguel Portillo. It's not very right, Sorry, it's a private no? reception. No way. Absolutely not at all. Ay, ay, Branson. Ay, ay, Branson. It's a private party only. Okay. Do you have an invitation? Oh. We have a word with Lili. Mr. Lili. Oh, La Ventana. Mr. Word, no party, no fiesta. What is this? Where, where about you really from? We are from Streatham. Streatham. Streatham Young Conservatives. Really? See. Si. You are a member of Streatham Conservative Party? No. You're not? No. Much could depend on whether their supporters can now agree to back just one candidate from the right with the other two standing down. Within the last few minutes, Kenneth Clark emerged from the House to give his reaction. You know, people shuffle their votes around in the most extraordinary way. Well, I think we uh, better leave it there as we're joined uh, uh, by the uh, circus. Uh, the yeah. They support your old boss, very Michael good. Portillo. Yeah, Thank Thanks. you very much. Bye -bye. We'll hand back to you then. Our next target was Peter Mandelson. This is before he was a high-flying cabinet minister, so he didn't have any security around him, which made things a lot easier for us.
sort of adulation for uh, Mr. Mendelssohn. How much more silly can it get? Um, uh, I don't know quite what you mean. Mr. Mendelssohn, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are our hero, our prince. That's very nice. Sorry, this is a private gathering. Um, bodyguard. No, can you leave, please? Come, Prince of Darkness, come! Come! Come, live with us! Live with us! Okay, all back to yours for virgin sacrifice. Come on! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Give us a lift! Oh, come on! Mr. Mandelson is doing a brilliant job as Minister Without Portfolio, and uh, I'm uh, delighted with the work he's doing for the government. Mr. Mandelson, do you like it? It's from the fan club. So 25 foot statue of him erected on Abingdon Green this morning. Is that a normal uh, thing? I uh, uh, would be surprised if that was a permanent fixture. Next up are our very first attempts at getting some celebs. If we look at certain drugs, uh, for instance, I don't know, ketamine, marijuana, war of the flea, what do we do with those in the millennium and where will, where will they go to? Well, it depends which one one's talking about. Yeah, I, I hope that by... Uh... I really, really love South African music, you know. Um, Sound of the beat, Dr. Mikel, yeah, all the greats, all the greats. Loads of them. Lodi Munshobo. Loads of them we've had play here, haven't we? One of the sort of weirder ones at the moment is a restaurant called War of the Flea, which is going to be in the Millennium Dome, and we're not sure who the chef is. Would you have any idea of A, who the chef might be, and B, a restaurant called War of the Flea? What sort of thing's that? Yeah, well, it's certainly not going to be me with my size, so um, I would think you're looking at someone like Raymond Blanc, who's pretty minute. Um, he might be a good uh, flea. Well, I can't imagine what that could be. He's just called our office and he said that... He's, he honestly just called you and said that he was scared and had to run. <laughs> You're joking. Who did he think he was interviewing? He said he didn't realise you were a convict. Who did he think he was interviewing? He thought you were the junior Northern Ireland minister. Our final hit was Will Self. First we met up with him to see if he was a suitable candidate. I'm going to be reading a piece from my new collection of stories, Tough Tough Toys for Tough Tough Boys, and it's called Design Faults in the Volvo 760 Turbo. We were so impressed that we decided to launch a magazine entirely about him. Is that Modern Review? Yeah. Yeah, hello. I was wondering if I could place an ad. I got a new magazine. Uh, okay, do you want to come straight through to the back? Yeah? Sure, thanks. I saw this sort of spoofy advert in the back of the Modern Review for, for this magazine and uh, I assumed it was an editorial gag, but I've heard via people that in fact somebody did pay for it, but it wasn't me and I don't know anything about it. It's one of those things you don't really want to know about. <laughs> well, we, we've just, there is a launch party for Self Magazine on the 19th of February, uh -huh. which we got an invite to this evening. So well, will you be going along? Or a magazine dedicated entirely to yourself is surely a, I've, I've an honour. <laughs> I've unfortunately yet to be invited. Have you read Self Magazine? I haven't yet. Right. That's why I'm here. I hope there's a copy around so I can have a look. Well, that's what we're all wondering. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. yeah. Any new magazine is a bit avant-garde, a bit over the top. Sounds well, great to me. That's what this certainly is. Can I ask you what you're actually doing here? Well, we're just here for the um, opening, really. And have you read the magazine? No. So, Joe, have you read uh, Self Magazine? 
No, apparently, isn't this the launch? Yeah. I've not read it yet. You're no. not read it yet. Are you a fan of Will Self? I don't know who it is, actually. Oh, I, really? I just saw the rest of the guest list, and I'm a fan <laughs> of everybody else who's meant to be here tonight. Yeah, but you're not here for the magazine. I'm here to have a look at it and see what's going on. Do you read a lot of Will Self stuff, or...? As I said, I don't know who he is. I wonder if it's like imitating art. Does anyone know why we're here? What's happened? Are you any know. idea? No, I'm just no waiting idea. to hear. I'm waiting to hear. So we don't know what's happening? No, we don't. Do you know? No, <laughs> no idea. I think he said to you that Oasis were on the guest list. Yeah, exactly. So you think it's for yourself? Yeah, of course it is. But what would you do it for? Just for self-promotion. So we're just saying, who, who's done it? Who's set it up? The fact is, he has been ill. He's, he had um, cancer. He's gone through chemo. And um, we're on our way to see him. And I think that's a little bit more important than this fast. You should rush off then. Well, that's it. That's the short history of Trigger Happy. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was worth it. I know everyone likes the bonus stuff on the DVD. So here's a final bonus minute. <laughs>